I'm Lisa Buclacchio and I have been getting my hands dirty in Somerville since the summer of 1979 when I got my first community garden plot over at the Tufts Garden. And then I kind of graduated to being the coordinator and that kind of kicked off a long involvement with community gardening here in the city and helping to start some new gardens, uh, starting the growing center, helping to start uh, school gardens, helping to get a garden going at Somerville Hospital, kind of leaving a trail of gardens. Personally, I always was a gardener. I had my first garden on my own when I was six and learned to grow food at the feet of my uh, parents and neighbors who were uh, former farmers that had moved into our rural village, and my grandmother who had about a quarter acre garden that kept the family well fed. And growing up in a not very affluent rural village, everyone grew food that's kind of what you did. So when I came here to be a student at Tufts, I was so excited to find these little plots of land where people could grow food and got myself on a list and got a garden because I was not making much money and I needed to eat. So I, but I also just really appreciate the opportunity to be outside, to get my hands dirty in uh, nature and the communal aspect of gardening in the city is something that was new to me but that since I was new to the city was an amazing way to meet this uh, vast array of really cool people who had done awesome things and by working together we did awesome things. So part of my personal motivation for helping to start the Growing Center was that as the volunteer community garden coordinator I had tried to integrate some daycare programs and after-school youth programs into some of the existing community gardens in the city and it sort of worked but it sort of didn't and it seemed like perhaps there might be a better um, opportunity to find a place that young people could come and learn about gardening and growing but also young people aka youth could learn about each other. So part of the Growing Center early sort of goals were to be a place of beauty, to be a place for hands-on um, learning around urban agriculture and environmental practices, but also a place to share cultural experiences and music and food. Could we have a place in the city where that was possible for people who didn't have their own yards. So could we learn about Purse Lane and how that was used as a green in Haiti? Could we use, learn about the variety of ways that fava beans were eaten and prepared in you know, India and El Salvador and Italy? Could we learn about crops from Brazil? Right? partnering with UMass um, Amherst and doing a whole Brazilian garden with Mishishe and Taibo and Gilo one summer. Could we learn that actually some of the herbs in one country may be used to flavor food and in another country they may be used to um, put beneficial oils into wash water. But just having opportunities and just seeing the joy that comes to someone's face when they walk into this place and they see something growing that they have not seen since their, you know, their hometown or their home country and they find it here and it helps them feel rooted and connected because a lot of this space and a lot of growing is about connection. Again, connecting to our food stores, connecting to um, the actual source, the soil that it comes from. Growing food is, you know, not just a little plot with some tomatoes and basil, but it could be the linden tree that gives us the linden flowers. So the women from Scale who were immigrants from Ukraine got so excited when they came this spring when the linden 
tree was blooming because they knew right away, this is the source of my tea. I'm taking, I'm getting some. Um, so just small little opportunities and examples for people to find themselves in a place in the city through connection with something that's growing, but then often that connecting them to another person and growing that network that sort of um, support, yeah, support network of knowing that there's other people that you share some values or some interests um, or some taste buds. With. <laughs>